Perfect playing conditions were waiting for the Millennium Estrel Open Stars on day three with the prize of a quarter-final place on offer. British star Kyle Edmund had begun his week with some water sports and the third seed would need to get past young Australian Alex de Menor in their first meeting on the ATP Tour. It was the world number 23, Edmund, who made the brighter start, hitting the ball cleanly from the back of the court. He quickly wrapped up a straightforward opening set, 6-2, and again made a fast start to the second, thanks to more heavy hitting. Demenor is known for his battling qualities though and he worked tirelessly to claw his way back into the set thanks to court coverage such as this. Cheered on by Leighton Hewitt court side, eventually the Australian broke back but quickly handed over the initiative once more as Edmund surged ahead to leave him serving for the match. And the Grand Slam semi-finalist from Melbourne earlier this year made no mistake, serving out to love for a satisfying 6-2, 7-5 win. I was hitting the ball really well and I felt that, so uh, if I was playing a different player, the, the weight of my balls, I think I would have got more cheaper points if I was playing a different player. So in one way it made you work, but I guess the positive is that I've, I've played a quality uh, pressure match and have come through it uh, well, so that, that's a positive. Next up, it would be the battle of the Sozas. World number 143, Pedro, who put out Gilles Simon in the first round, up against Joao, the Portuguese number one, and the world number 68. Going for his first ever tour level quarter final, it was the underdog Pedro who hit the ground running, breaking early for a 3 1 lead. And he held on to that advantage long enough to take a surprise one set lead. Showing no signs of tension, the free-flowing tennis kept coming and it was starting to look like that dream of a first ATP quarter-final might become a reality. He was on the brink of victory when he led by a set and 5-2, only for Joao to fight his way back into the set, but had two chances to finish it with two match points in the 12th game. Those chances slipped away, Joao Souza took it into a decider and again it was the lower ranked player who looked a more likely winner when he had this short forehand to give him another two match points. The Portuguese number one survived again however, edged into a 6-5 lead and engineered his own chance to finish it towards the end of a marathon 12th game. Finally, it was Jao Souza who could start the celebrations after a thrilling 4-6, 7-6, 7-5 win in two hours and 25 minutes. Yeah, I mean, it was an unbelievable match. It was epic uh, by a friend. Uh, playing against a friend is not easy to play. I think we played the, both of us played a great match today, a great level. And uh, yeah, in the end, I was, I was able to come back. And I think mentally I was very tough today um, after saving some, some match points. I was believing that I, I could win and yeah, in the end I was lucky that uh, perhaps I, I played a little bit better than him and I was able to win. Next up on Friday, Sosa will be back to face Kyle Edmund for a semi-final spot.